Hi and well, welcome to Tech Song. My name is David. This is the Razer Blade 15 with an RTX 2060 inside, and I will check out if you can add an SSD or a hard drive to it, just like the version with the GTX 1660 Ti inside. So let's start open up the, the bottom plate. So uh, this is a very beautiful laptop, and uh, I have had no issues with it uh, so far. Uh, so what you need uh, in order to open this up, you need a uh, bit uh, Torx T5 bit uh, to open up this device. And be careful uh, when you are going to screw them back because uh, some of the holes are um, uh, in an angle. Uh, not, uh, the, not the one in the back, uh, but in the, the one in the front. So uh, you need to be very careful when you are screwing them back. I use a magnetic uh, plate to uh, put my screws on so they don't uh, disappear during uh, the, if you yeah if uh, if you are not careful and you you uh, yeah move and uh, the screws uh, disappear on the floor or something. So uh, this plate is very useful. So um, yeah, let's move on uh, with removing the screws. So here is the inside of the uh, uh, Razer Blade 15. So my plan is to uh, add an SSD, a Samsung SSD. So it's a uh, two uh, terabyte uh, SSD. So you can see uh, th this looks like uh, some kind of console that is uh, screwed onto the um, uh, back of on the uh, motherboard, and uh, this is the. Uh, connector, uh, power and uh, data connector, and it uh, <laughs> it was taped uh, so it didn't look uh, like it. Uh, it looked like that it was connected to the to the battery, but it wasn't. So uh, just removing uh, these uh, screws, you can see that they are have different length, and you're going to need a Phillips uh, head uh, screwdriver. Um, so just to unscrew this uh, and. Uh, Let's uh, see how it looks. Uh, so hmm. these two are different length. You can see that uh, one is much uh, smaller. So uh, keep that in mind when you are going to uh, screw them back in place. So uh, it's just to uh, remove them and uh, uh, screw them back uh, in the, in the right position. You need uh, two uh, screws to, uh, to uh, they are not included in any way, so you have to, uh, it's the standard screws for, for SSD, SSDs, so you may have some, some laying around at home. So it's just to uh, screw, it, screw them in place. I'm sorry for being a little uh, fiddly with this, uh, it's uh, easier to to have them laying flat on the on the desk instead instead of uh, making yeah so so it's uh, two screws on each side that is uh, going to hold uh, the SSD in place so this is a very easy um, thing to do on yourself. But check if, uh, first with Razer if it's uh, okay uh, so, it, uh, so it doesn't void the uh, warranty. I had another idea and that was to um, uh, remove these plates and uh, uh, check if I can buy an, uh, a battery, the larger battery that is in the advanced uh, model. As, uh, that battery would give, will give you maybe two hours more in uh, battery life because it's uh, quite much uh, larger capacity in the, the advanced model. But um, I, I, I was unsure that if I if I bought this battery and it, it wouldn't fit and I maybe spent uh, 1500 uh, Swedish crowns or uh, 150 euros or US dollars on uh, a battery that uh, wouldn't fit anyway. 
But it uh, it's, yeah, I was very curious about that. So uh, this is uh, the last two screws. Um, I don't know if you and if you uh, have an idea if the battery is uh, replaceable with the with the larger battery. Uh, that would be very interesting to hear from you. Uh, so please uh, write in the comment section if you have uh, heard about it or s seen it on uh, on uh, the internet or whatever. I, I will be very uh, thankful if you can uh, uh, check that for me. So now it's just to connect um, uh, this uh, combined power and uh, data. Uh, connector. So now it's just to screw it in place again. Uh, so I will speed that up. So if you find this video useful, please uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel because uh, that would uh, I would be very very grateful if you can do that for me. So um, yeah, it's uh, easier to have a channel if <laughs> you have subscribers than not, of course. So now it's just to screw uh, the screws back uh, in place and uh, I will speed that up. So that's all and uh, now I'm going to start it so you can see if that uh, uh, the storage uh, amount of storage has increased. It starts really fast, uh, the razor blade. It's a uh, <laughs> matter of uh, seven, six seconds or something from boot to, uh, to it's fully started. So uh, let's check out the storage uh, conditions. So the file explorer and uh, this PC. And there you can see uh, that I have uh, another two uh, terabytes to use. I was unsure if it was two terabytes or three, but uh, that's it. Uh, quite easy procedure and uh, um, yeah, good luck with it if you're going to try, because uh, I think most, almost everyone can do this. So, uh, and uh, that was all for this time. Uh, so, see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.